Hey everyone, JCR Cards. In this video, I'm going to open some of the packs that I picked up at the garage sale. Um, I guess a couple weeks back now. Actually, it wasn't at the garage sale. Uh, I got the guy's phone number, gave him a call, and met him on a Tuesday or something like that, and picked up all this stuff. So, um, so really, this is just a continuation from the last video. Uh, I opened a few of the packs, um, and this was some of the cool stuff I got uh, from just a handful of those packs. Uh, you can see I got the uh, 89 Bowman, uh, Bo Jackson, and then the, from uh, 90 score, the baseball and football black and white photo of Bo. Um, over on the left, um, got the Sam Vincent. Um, reason that I have this up here, the significance is the, uh, is the Jordan and the 12 jersey. Um, so they played the Magic. It was at the end of a, uh, like a six or seven uh, road game stretch for them, and uh, the story goes is that the uh, 23 of Jordan was, uh, th the jersey was stolen, they couldn't find one in the gift shop, no one in the Amway Center had uh, had one that would fit him, so they had to go to a backup jersey, and uh, backup jersey was 12, and as you can see in the foreground, he clearly has that 12 jersey on. I think this card went back and got corrected because I do believe I have a corrected version of this. So just a, you know, just an interesting card from 9091 Hoops. So, uh, and then this is a Derek Jeter foil bonus out of 92 Classic Draft Picks. I did not know this card existed. Uh, I opened one pack. I think I had four or five of those packs, and uh, that was the first card out of there. So um, it has him in his high school uni, um, and it's seen better days it's you know um the card was on top of the pack so it was really susceptible to being tossed around moved around and stuff like that so um it's got it's just not in good condition but still a cool card nonetheless it's a jeter from 92 so sleeve it up so i did go back and open all of those bricked um stadium club packs and uh yeah, you can you can just see you know, some of the paper loss on these. Uh, it's really a shame too, because um, these are really cool cards. I mean, that poor Larkin I think is missing an entire corner down there. I think maybe not, but still, it's still pretty beat up. Um, so these are you know some of the more notables um, that I got. I did get uh, a Nolan Ryan. In that first video, I, I ended up getting a second Ryan, but it was it was bricked so bad I couldn't pull the cards apart, and so that was a shame. Uh, it was Barry Bonds, but again, pretty beat up. We have a cat. Hi, can you get out of here? That's fine. Uh, Bo Jackson, you know, the, all these cards pretty much suffered the same fate. That really broke my heart, uh, and that was the only Griffey Jr. Uh, out of it. But that's you know that's what I figured was going to happen. Uh, a couple of the more uh, of the other notable cards: um, third year Bo Jackson uh, from '88, full year um, Mark Grace rookie uh, from '88, full year Sammy Sosa with okay centering um, and, and not too bad chipping from '90 score, and then a pretty nice Nolan Ryan. There might be a little bit of white up on this edge right in here. Um, but other than that, um, maybe that corner too, uh, just good centering on the card all around, which, uh, is not, uh, the case for a lot of those cards. So a lot of the cards from that set. So like I said, let's open some packs. Um, I have two packs of 87 tops, uh, a pack of 89 and 91 tops, um, two packs of 89 Bowman. Uh, one pack of 91 Bowman, um, one pack of 90 score and 91 series one score. I have a rack pack of 89 Donruss. Um, do, let's do four packs of 89 Donruss. I have quite a bit of that, so let's see if we can get us a Griffey. Um, have an 89, I'm sorry, a 91 uh, Donruss. Not really looking for anything out of here other than an Elite card uh, or an, an Elite series. I know those are super rare, but um, they're 
almost impossible, but not impossible. So, um, Leaf 92, Series 1, Series 2, don't really recall. So, um, let's see. A couple 91 High Series of Upper Deck. Um, you know, I'm not sure if there's a Jordan in the set. If, if, if there is, I know it's more difficult uh, to pull just because of the uh, added set of cards. It's sort of like the 89 upper deck if you're looking to get if you're looking to pack pull uh griffey you want the low series just because your odds are so much better so let's see here i have a 89 uh, i'm sorry 88 fleer uh looking for uh looking for glavin grace um edgar martinez uh three packs of 89 fleer um this Classics, uh, draft picks from baseball. Uh, and then we'll finish with 99, or, uh, 1991 hoops. So let's start with the tops. We'll start with the 87 tops. Um, looking for Larkin, uh, second year uh, Bonds, second year Bo Jackson. Popped right off of there. No problem. Uh, let's see. McGuire, Canseco, Clark. You know, just all those. All those guys from back in the day. So. There's a little Clark. Uh, let's see. Nitro. There's Pete Rose. It's going to be, uh, I believe, his last, last year card as a player. Uh, also looking for Hall of Famers and people that should be in the Hall of Fame. Um, you know, Hall of Fame rookies, uh, people that will get there here in the next couple years, people who should be in the Hall of Fame, uh, and so on and so forth. Let's see, here's a throwback Reggie Jackson. Oh, these cards are in pretty decent condition. Dave Stewart, Bobby Thigpen, I believe that's a rookie. He may be in update. And, um, 86 update, I don't recall. Steve Swain, uh, Rupert Jones. So, not much doing in those two packs. Let's go to 89 tops. So we're looking for Randy Johnson, Craig Biggio, John Smoltz. I have a ton of these cards, or, you know, a ton of these packs, so I'll, of course, drag it out over a bunch of videos. But you guys seem to like these videos when I go out to a garage sale or I go to a thrift store. You guys and gals, sorry. Uh, go out to a, a thrift store or garage sale and buy up a whole bunch of stuff, so. Um, and since I can't really find any, uh, find any new releases out there, then... This is it. it's a Mark Grace Cup card, a Sabo Cup card, and that's about it. Yep, couldn't find any update this week. No basketball. Uh, that's, that's not true. I found some basketball. I found uh, 2021 Contenders draft picks, but I just opened them up off camera. Um, if they were handy, if they weren't downstairs, I'd probably uh, show them off. But, uh oh this gum feels pretty stuck. Hope it's not on anybody too big. Oh, that's not saying it's not too bad. Um, looking for Chipper Jones and any Hall of Famers. So let's see. Del Murphy on the Phillies doesn't look right. There's a Griffey. That's nice. That is some nice edges maybe a little ding right there on that corner but that's that's a really nice looking card good action shot too that's just a that's just a nice looking card um so i'm looking for cards like that as well um oof. let's see here what we're we gonna do next let's do the two bowmans uh, the 289 Bowmans, I should say. Um, again, looking for Griffey, 
Um, they did include him in this set, uh, as opposed to the Topps flagship set, where they put him in Update. So Tim Raines on the back, Jerry Brown on that side. So let's see. Let's see what we can find. Um, also like trying to guess these names. That's a Scott Bankhead. Steve Wilson, that was pretty easy. Pete Harnish, I believe. Or Stanisek, Stanisek, Steve Lyons. Mm, Tim Flannery, Jerry Brown. Hmm. It's not Tony Fernandez, Tony Fernandez. Uh, Brian Harper, Glenn Wilson, Steve Farr, I believe, yep. Um, can't really tell. Brady Anderson, that's a Brady Anderson. It's early Brady Anderson. Uh, and then there's Tim Raines, Hall of Famer. Um, next pack. Let's see, Gary Templeton on the back. These packs do seem to be coming apart pretty easily, but I, I just, I don't think there's any shenanigans going on with them. And if there is, so what? Not like I paid a whole bunch for them. Um, Alex Sanchez. I think that's Pete Harnish. Yeah, Ray Quinones, Cal Daniels, Andy Vance Light, Gary Templeton, Ron Darling, Bill Dempsey, Rick Dempsey, Rick Dempsey, Fred Tolliver, Sean Dunstan, Jamie Quirk. Oh, and Scott Medvin, yeah. All right, nothing doing there. Let's move on to 91. Uh, Bowman looking for Chipper, um, Jim Tomey, and that's it, Jimmer, Jimmer, <laughs> uh, Chipper and Jim Tomey, let's see, I should do something with this gum, I've, I'm kicking around an idea that maybe involves a fundraiser, but I don't know, we'll see. Let's see here. Here's our Rod Carew with a 29 stamp embossed. I think. Did they do a Rod Carew set at the front of this or a subset? That's cool. There's a Clemens. Another guy should be in the Hall of Fame. Steve Farr. Lenny Harris. Carl Rhodes. Herbeck. Mesa. Sweet Lou. All right, um, let's move on to 90 score. Let's see if we can find another bow or a Sosa. Or... I think that's about it. And maybe some, uh, some Hall of Famers that are pretty well. Oh, there's Frank Thomas in here too, yeah. Uh, let's see, Sweet Lou. Into the 89 World Series. Second year Girardi, Eric Hansen, Jim Gott, Kinzer, Beattie, and Rosler. Nada. 91 Series 1 score. I think just Mussina. And of course, me. That. But I think just Mussina draft, excuse me, draft card in here, draft pick card in here. Dave Martinez, Tracy Jones, you know, again, for 29 years old, these cards are in pretty good shape. There's a Lee Smith, there's a Moose. I'll stick you in front of the bow. Uh, Henderson, All Star, Eric Davis, Nolan Ryan, Highlights. A nice Randy Johnson. Put him with his former teammate, Plesak Tettleton. Romine Boy's dad. Um, let's go to 91 Upper Deck. Let's get these out of the way. Like I said, the uh, chances of getting the Jordan out of this are lessened if if it if it even exists in this product, which I'm not sure. Uh, but there is a shot at a chipper, a Tomy, so. so Canseco, Dave Parker. I said it before, I'll say it again. 
Uh, DeLuca Phillips, gross. Heathcliff. <laughs> There's a Hank Aaron, just a shot at an auto, 2,500 um, autos. I think they're hand numbered uh, to 2,500. Uh, Searcy, Jackson, Soho. That's a neon. That's a cool card. I don't think I've seen that before. Even though it opened a ton of this product in an early Moise Salu. Do the other pack. So, we did not have school today. All the schools were closed here in my part of Florida because of Tropical Storm. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure we're going to have school tomorrow. So, but they had us off due to an abundance of caution with the winds. They can't operate the buses if the winds are a certain sustained um, speed. So Gibson, Mike Heath, Log, the Shield, Saber Hagen, Young, Felix, and Lacoste. Let's do let's do this draft picks. So I can feel that these are a little bricked in here, so let me take a second or two. But there is a Peter, of course. And there's I'm sure there's also a Jason Kendall. So the Shannon Stewart. But yeah, like I said, you can see there's pretty, pretty nicked up. Uh, is there a Piazza? Piazza get drafted in ninety two or ninety three? Not sure now. I think I, he may have been drafted in 92. So maybe there's a Piazza in here also. Lieberthal. Buddy. So Jeffrey Hammonds. Yep, I know he was in that draft class. Oof. Lieber. Sikinski. Matthews. Oof. Landaker. Smith, uh, Gentile, Gentile, and there's a Moose flashback, flashback from the year before, uh, let's see, Roger Bailey here, Rich Ireland there, I'm not going to bother, Dave Becker, uh, Matt Luke, okay, so nothing there, I'm not going to keep struggling with that, let's Let's go backwards with the Donruss offerings. Let's start, um, or the Donruss slash Leaf offerings. Let's start with um, 92 Leaf Series 2. I I don't recall. I don't recall. It was you know, 28 years ago, so I just do not recall. So let's see what we have here. There is a black or a gold or a black gold or gold black. Uh, Wally Ritchie, Stank, uh, Eric Davis on the Dodgers, Todd Worrell with a really, I don't know, the coloring looks very strange. Um, it's early Vizcal, early Kevin Brown. Greg Olson. Uh, series 1, 92 Leaf. Uh, leaf Gold Edition. Okay, so we'll call that Gold Edition. Oh, cool, a checklist. I'm glad I didn't get a gold checklist. Will Clark. That looks real nice. That looks really nice. Getty Olin, Cecil Fielder. That's it. That's a nice little, nice little parallel. Uh, series one, ninety-one Donruss. Again, looking for an elite series or, um, you know, Hall of Famer. So we got a Dave Magan and Diamond King. Eric Anthony, he was the bomb back in the day. Barry Bonds, Diamond King. Too bad the centering is 
No bueno. There's a second year Sosa. All Star Wade Boggs. Eck. All right. Let's jump back over to. Let's do this hoops pack. See if we can find a Jordan or another Vincent or a Mark Jackson with the Menendez boys on the sideline in the background. Uh, this is Stockton, Byron Scott, Tarpley Willis, uh, Rasmussen, Isaiah. Oh, Isaiah. So, nothing doing there. Let's do, let's do the 88 Fleer, and then we'll end with the series of 89 packs. Um, so, again, looking for... Edgar Martinez, Hall of Fame rookie, Tom Glavin, uh, Hall, Hall of Fame rookie, yeah. Yeah, there's a Winfield. Nothing. Alrighty, let's move on to these 89. We'll do the Fleer first and end with the Donruss. Um, it's also Randy Johnson, Craig Luzio, um, Kurt Schilling, who am I forgetting? Smoltz. So let's see what we got. Uh, Malaki and Corsi, Tim Raines, Scott Service and Shane Turner. Fred McGriff, uh, another guy that deserves to be in the hall. In my opinion, you know, obviously this is just my opinion, but I think the stats are comparable to players that are in. Um, you know, maybe he wasn't, you know, the greatest first baseman or whatever position that he played for the majority of time, but stats-wise, um, he's up. He's certainly comparable with his contemporaries. Bunch of middling stars there. Herbeck Van Slyke there at the end. Last pack of 89 Fleer. Gedman Moyer. Uh, nothing. Just swinging and missing. I was hoping to get that last uh, that last stand filled. All right, so we have four packs of Donruss, and then we'll end on uh, that rack pack. Is it starting with an Eddie Murray? After Zlady. There's Alomar Jr. rookie. That's a nice McGuire. It's a little Wade Boggs. Centering looks really good. Corners, edges look good. Top to bottom, left and right. Um, may, maybe off left to right a little bit. Um, so that's that's good of, of the uh, things that you can't really control. The centering is... Uh, you know, you hope to find a, a good run of uh, well-centered cards on Huntington Black. Feels good that that Wax is still intact and uh, ripping the packs after uh, 31, 32 years. There's a Sheffield. That's nice, some fish eyes. Actually, quite a few fish eyes on that, so... That's too bad, but Colorado. Uh, let's see, two more of these, and then on to the rack pack. Early David Wells. Gerald 
Perry. Rasmussen, Caminiti. How, how old is that Caminiti? It's about, it's an early, yeah, a couple of years. Griff, Brian King. All right, last one of these. And, uh, all those corners are nice and tight, so that's good. Whoops. Tommy Her, Calvin Schiraldi, Fernando Ricky. It's a nice, maybe up, up north and south is a little off. Jack Morris has all sorts of no good going on there. And that's about it. So, alrighty. So, on to our rat pack here. Tell you the last time I opened a rack pack. So, pardon me. While I struggle, oh, well, pardon me while I don't struggle. So, I am just going to take these out. And let's start with this first cell. Um, centering leaves a lot to be desired. There's a Greenwell. Xavier Greenwell. Sutcliffe. Got nothing in that cell. Carlton Fisk on the back there. Mike Schmidt off left or right. Ozzy Smith. Same fate. Cal Ripken, same fate. Uh, that fist looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit of chipping and some little white boop on the corner down there. All right. Greenwell. Uh, Diamond King. Corey Snyder, Diamond King. Ah, boo. Okay. So... Kind of struck out there, um, but you know, just a small uh, cross section of, of of what I have picked up. So I'll continue to make some videos of uh, of some pack openings uh, as I go through them. Um, no big rookies, but some decent cards. You know, that Will Clark uh, looks nice. Uh, and that Ken Griffey Jr. is in pretty. Pretty decent shape too. So let's leave a couple of these up. I'll show you what I'm talking about with the Sheffield. So there's three fish eyes here and then another one over here. So that's too bad. Um, there's Randy Johnson. King Griffey Jr. look nice, so get them sleeved up too. But alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And try and avoid hurricanes or tropical storms. <laughs> Take care. Stay safe. Later.